This is the first AI that ended up building a working mobile application for me. So this is built using React Native. Just a single prompt, I have a working mobile application. It's just right now running on my phone, but it is running through Expo because this is a React Native application. This is not a sponsored video. This is something that I found as a YC company. It's called A0.dev and I found it pretty fascinating because I've always felt that I can never develop mobile applications. So it's always an aspiring goal for me. And today, the fact that I could create this uh, terrible working function of a Wordle game was pretty fascinating. So I decided to make this video. So this video is going to be more exploratory than actually me teaching you. So we're going to go through this journey of how I ended up building this particular thing. And then we're going to see if we can build something else. First of all, this service is very simple to use. All you have to do is go to a0.dev and then log into it. And then I just gave a mobile game inspired by Wordle where the users guess a word within a limited number of items. The game will have a sleek UI, daily social challenges, social sharing, sharing features, optimal competitive modes. This game doesn't have any of those things. As you can see here, um, I have a share feature that basically takes a screenshot of whatever that I've got. But other than that, I don't see many of those features. But the main thing here is that this is like actually working world game. So you can see that I finally guessed phone as an answer. That is pretty fascinating. And all these things happened in like couple of um, couple of seconds, I would say. For you to work this, you have to go to this website and uh, ask something. Okay, so I'm going to go here and I can just go ahead and then ask something. For you to run this on an Android phone, you need to have something called Expo Go installed on your Android phone. Just make sure that these two things are there available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a flashcard. I want to build a simple flashcard flashcard uh, app that has a great UI and modern look more like inspired from Duolingo. So also for prompt, you can use something like ChatGPT and get the technical requirement, but I want to keep this video very light and simple. This is to teach data science algorithms and interview questions to beginners. Feel free to use sample data yourself based on your data science interview questions knowledge. This should also have a feature for the user to test their knowledge and something like a daily log of their score also have a puzzle racer something like in chess world we have so i'm going to just give this and then see what it does so i've sent it as you can see here it loads a temporary chat session and uh, it would start coding so we have got this prompt here so it says okay what are the things that they're going to do a modern card ui with flip animations for flashcards progress tracking and daily streaks. It explains much better than me. A puzzle racer mode for quick learning, a beautiful animation and engaging UI sample questions focused on data science fundamentals. And here you can see it is starting to code and it has already created something that we have here. So the, it just like took a uh, what, um, few seconds, I would say like since I sent the prompt and it is already there. So it says what is linear regression, Tap to flip. If I tap uh, a supervised learning algorithm that models, okay, is it correct or incorrect? Let's say correct, okay. A statistical measure that helps, okay, correct. Is there anything incorrect, okay? Anyways, uh, so the app is ready. Uh, for you to view this app, like how do you work? Uh, first of all, if you want to add uh, more items here, so you can just go here and then do it. So what I can do here is I can go to chat GPT and then say, um, give in this particular format. Okay, I'm going to say, give me, um, give me 50 data science interview questions filled in this particular format. So I've just given the format. What we are going to do is we're going to take the code and then paste it there. Meanwhile, once that is done, um, let's wait for it. So it is opened in canvas. If you've not seen canvas, this is like chat GPT's, um, Claude artifact. So it is still going on. We have got all these different questions coming. What is gradient descent? We can also increase uh, the difficulty later on. So we have got all these things. Okay. So I'm going to go copy this. Just make sure we have, uh, yeah, we have this thing at the end. I can go here and paste it. 
just one pending changes there i'm going to still paste it sample data paste it here and save all so at this point we should have almost 50 questions doesn't look like we have faced any error here so at this point what you can do is you can go here click the view on phone and once you click this you will have two options for ios i think you have to download their proprietary app but for android you can download expo go so i've got the expo go already and uh, all i have to do is i have to go scan the url scan it as I scanned it, you can see that it is loading and it's there. So I can just go play. What is linear regression? Okay. Um, tap to flip. Supervised algorithm uh, dependent. independent. Okay. Correct. Statistical measure. Okay. I have to. So what, what it is making me do is it is making me flip every time, which is good. But you know what would be nice instead of flipping if I have like something like Tinder, you know, um, swipe up and swipe down. So let's see. So now I'm going to go ahead and then say, this is great, um, but I would, I would love to have um, swipe left and right like Tinder. And also the UI is so boring. Make it, make it more colorful and gamified okay so let's end it i've got 12 messages and um, okay tinder like swipe animations it started coding at this point more vibrant colors and playful ui so now what happens is after this code is done if you want to make this full-fledged app so you can go click this button and once you click this button it will create a new app from this chat session so you can name anything that you want for example i can say data science um data science interview and interview url slug create an app wait for the chat to finish okay and the app has been updated already this new ui actually is quite good so i'm going to click create a new app and it is giving me um levels and all those things this is pretty interesting i can wow this is nice how do i go to the next one swipe if left if you don't know okay so left i have to go if i don't know I honestly don't know how to use this app at this point. Okay. Mm, it's not like, I, I don't know. Um, I think, um, I think the swiping is difficult. And also, can you add the other features? Yeah, so if I were to use this while it is doing, we can just play with it. I like the UI, it's honestly like the gradient is amazing. It's a bit more vibrant than anything. Um, there is like tag machine learning basic. Um, basic is difficulty. Machine learning is tag. When we have deep learning, we'll add deep learning. But how do I swipe it? Okay, so linear regression. Okay, how do I go to the second question? Swipe right if you know it. Swipe left if you don't know. Left, 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 left 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 yeah i think the swiping is something it is still thinking a0 is thinking i don't know why the name a0 i don't know if you if you know any reference let me know and um it's honestly kind of surprising like nobody is talking about it i've not seen a single video i've not seen like a single tweet about it maybe like um yeah oh cool now now the app has progressed um i mean we have got a better ui what is linear regression okay now we have some 3D effect. Swipe. Got it. Explain p value. Got it. Got it. It's not swiping, but still I'm going to just go ahead and say <laughs> got it. And don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Yeah. So it is doing all those things. Cool. The swipe is not working. Okay. Can you improve? Maybe, maybe you know, maybe um, just show the question also with the same view um, below the title. I don't know if this is how flashcards work and what other thing we can add. We can probably add um, quiz me as a feature. Okay. So I've said, okay, just improve this. Okay. We have a puzzle racer mode. Our puzzle racer did not work. So looks like there's an error. Interesting. And um, okay. The previous game is there, but puzzle racer did not work. Let's see if it is going to implement the changes and um, we can just see again let me implement the changes the app is something that i think you can go see here in your history 
a mobile app and uh, it's implementing the changes you can always see uh, okay the ui is a bit more clunky i would say previously it was decent the the ui uh, is a lot clunkier can you follow some best practices and also the button to say okay or no has disappeared because because of the new menu okay this is done i think after this uh whatever we have got we will close it down and okay it says you're absolutely right oh thank you so much i mean as if it should have known this before before just making this um the crazy change but so far so good like i i wouldn't have dreamt of making an app like this and um, i would probably try to make an apk and then see if it works um and if it works i think we have got something very okay it's it's it fixed okay this layout thing is still there um but at least it fixed all those things okay so let's try to figure out if we were to export this how to do it okay so if you are going to export this and if we were to use this okay so we have got uh, the application here so i can just go here and then add one more uh, option um can you add an option to to refresh or get a new challenge i'm not sure if their server is down and uh, let's see so can you add an option to refresh and get a new challenge okay so it's it's making some change in which we can refresh this and get a new challenge it's still writing the code and once this is done then uh, we will make sure that we export this it's refreshed i've got i've got a refresh button so i can just go here and then say phone maybe it's the right answer no it's not the right answer so i can just click refresh it's asking me do you want a new game i want a new game good cool export to zip so i can export it as zip i can say wordle react native and done so now i can uh, unzip it and i've got a fully working project of react native wordle game and um, i hope they make it easier for us to just like publish on uh, app store or a uh, play store that would be like pretty fascinating but for now um i've uh, ran out of all my messages and we learned something completely new which is a new startup that makes it really easy for you to develop mobile applications let me know what you feel about it it's not very straightforward but honestly like this is a first solution that just worked end to end for me and it would be pretty fascinating to see if i can export it to as an apk and then send it to somebody and then make them install this application let me know what you think about it see you in another video happy prompting